Hello, this is uh, Mr. Weideman, and this is our Lafayette High School Functions Trig class. And I, I want to do one of our homework problems that were assigned here on page 361, number 65 through 72. And uh, I want to do one together here because uh, the format is a little bit different than what we did in class. Although what we do is exactly the same, we just have to... Um, see what they mean here, or see how we get our information from the graph and the format that they gave us. All right, so first thing I want to uh, draw your attention to is, is this right here. And what does that mean? Well, that is just merely our window setting in uh, our calculator. So they said that the x-axis is going to go negative 5 to the left, positive 5 to the, to the right, and every single tick mark is going to be one unit. And we do the same thing on the y-axis. So that's what that information there. So that helps us <clears throat> count and find our y-intercepts um, on this graph. I know exactly uh, what the tick marks mean and what the scale is. All right, so it says uh, let's find the zeros and state the multiplicity, even or odd. All right, well, we get that information straight from the graph. So let's read our x-intercepts. And there's three of them. I found the zeros, and they're all odd. The reason they're odd is because the graph crosses. If the graph bounced at these points, then we call it an even multiplicity. These are all odd. Okay, so uh, the next thing we need to do is we're going to use these x-intercepts and we're going to set them up as factors for our polynomial. All right, so we're going to deal with the lead coefficient later. So uh, each one of these is a factor. I gave them a multiplicity of 1. You don't have to write the 1. I'm just showing you that when we finish this, we're going to end up with a degree of 3. <clears throat> and I'll talk about that a little bit more. Okay, so what's the next thing that we got to do? Well, we got to figure out the end behavior of this thing. All right, well, I can look. They're pointed in opposite directions. All right, that means it's going to be an odd degree. So I rise right, fall left. That means I'm going to need a positive lead coefficient. All right, so that tells us that C needs to be positive 1. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. And all I'm going to do now, I'm going to throw that positive 1 in there. And I'm just going to multiply things together. I'm going to take that guy, foil them together, and then I'm going to come down here and use the box method uh, to include that last factor. And we'll go through that. You'll know how to do that. And then uh, I'm going to skip ahead here. And we're going to have our polynomial after I collect like terms. And then when we do that, our polynomial ends up you know, like that. Okay, now they have one last instruction here. What's with this y-intercept thing? I can read from the graph that my y-intercept is x equals 0, y equal 8. So let's substitute 0 into our equation, see if that checks out. And so when I do, we plug in, we find that f sub 0 is indeed 8. Now, if I took this equation right there, boxed in red, and I put it in my calculator, and I set my x window negative 5, 5, and 1, and my y window negative 12, positive 12, and 1. I'm going to get exactly that picture right there. So that is a way to check your answer. Okay, so uh, that is how it's done. So um, good luck with this assignment. I think it should, uh, should be fairly simple for you.